very competitive, uh, very competitive, tough to get into. Um, some of you might already, you know, what, six, seven, eighth also you said. Yeah, sometimes eight. I think class standard eight kids are usually trying to uh, start preparing to get to the IITs. Yeah. Um, I, I hope you have a wonderful school ahead of you, you know, not stress too much about getting into this place or that. But uh, systems and control um, uh, is a unique uh, program inside IIT Bombay. We are one of the very few, if not the only one in India, uh, which uh, a department which focuses purely on systems and control. Um, I myself joined in 2011 as a faculty here, uh, immediately after my PhD in the US. Um, and we have many such you know, very, very good established faculty members here. Um, now, see, I mean, uh, you usually find these control programs uh, associated with electrical engineering and mechanical engineering. Yeah, again, not maybe something all of you would have uh, thought about right now. Um, but one of the best examples of the kind of thing we do is what you saw in the in the you know in the video. Yeah, all of this was aerial footage taken by drones. Yeah. And one of the biggest uh, challenges uh, that, or one of the biggest interest areas in the country is now drones. Yeah, so quad rotors, multi rotors, uh, whether it be defense applications, uh, so patrolling the border, uh, you can use drones. There are drones doing more uh, uh, aggressive things also. Uh, we are not going to go into that. But uh, you have drones for patrolling, you, so drones in defense. We have drones for inspections. So large areas of uh, you know uh, unmonitored land. If you want to inspect, if you want to check out features, drones are being used. Um, if, if you talk about even thinking of inspecting oil pipelines, you know very difficult for humans to always reach every stretch of the oil pipeline, which is spread all over the country in, in vast barren lands. Then you're still talking about using drones. Um, you know if you're talking about if you look at most Bollywood most movies these days, you'll always find. Uh, some drone shot. If you watch most sports these days, whether it be you know the FIFA soccer World Cup right now, or if you the ICC T20 World Cup, you would have seen aerial drone footage. So a lot of what we do is to uh, uh, provide what is called autonomy. Autonomy means that a uh, lot of times you find operators flying these drones. That's one way of doing things. Yeah, it's remote controlled. I, I mean, many of you would have drone toys. Many of you would have remote controlled cars at home. All of you are playing with those. What we do is a little bit more advanced. There, um, you don't command everything with a remote control. You essentially uh, say that I want to reach there, and your car or your drone or your machine. Javans, uh, as I said about the Taj attack, and also the Javans can actually take this robot throw the robot inside a room and as I said about the Android application, using that Android application, uh, they can control the robot and as you can see over here, there is a camera fitted which gives... So then we realized that something from maybe 5th standard or 6th standard onwards would be amazing. So we started a model called as competition. So there are two things that Ianthra really believes in. One is you will learn by doing. So you have to be able to do something hands on and do to learn. Just reading about something will not give you that kind of depth and knowledge about a particular thing. And the second thing is we believe that you got to compete to learn and you got to learn to compete. So it goes hand in hand. What happens is usually in the competitions that we do which uh, spans over one and a half months, you are taught like every week there is a uh, learning section that is given.